Good morning. Soul tribe, spiritual warriors, mother earth angels. We in Greenville, Mississippi. And we're discharging. Should be finished so sometime today. This afternoon. Be headed back to Memphis. I um uh, welcome to the channel Spiritual Guidance eleven eleven. Uh read the description disclaimers and go check out the links with uh Mystic Beauty, IKF Tam, um uh, Taini, all of them. Uh all of them. We'll do a, a reading. I shuffle the cards. Um just want to what the Holy Spirit has for you today. Just for today. Let's see. Uh, uh, you know, sometimes we can go, we can get into a lot of things and a lot of times the, the energy is so much alike for all of the readers as a collective within the reading community. And we kind of like all read the same. So I just want to kind of change it up. I ask the Holy Spirit just for you my collective, my my soul tribe. Today. Today or maybe tomorrow. But just like very rare, uh, more or less uh, what's going on right now. What is in your... And we'll use the Clarifying Life Situations deck. Oracle. Uh, and we'll go with that. I don't have any questions that I know of. I don't have a, and as of right now, it's 7.18 in the morning in Greenville, Mississippi. Let's go with what, oh, and I'm going to do a, a 15 card base pyramid spread and I'm gonna build on it. We'll lace the cards together and we'll come out with one card the cap card to see what that is and we'll go with that trust yourself Holy Spirit is saying whatever you have going on to trust yourself so intuition wise trust your intuition trust your gut feeling whatever whatever it is and and like I said we're talking about today and but you should always do that anyway every day of the week move forward going forward trust yourself going forward whatever whatever you have going on hmm. Holy Spirit says whatever you're doing you're on the right track he says trust yourself going forward because you're on the right track <laughs> you can't get no clearer than that and be open to receive. Be open to receive. That's in reverse. That's life clarifying in reverse. Uh, be open to receive what? Take precautions. So, what it's saying is, you know, uh, if you're doing something today, and I'm just saying, for instance, if you're doing something today, it says trust yourself. Trust your int intuition in whatever choices you're going to make, whatever you're going to decide, whatever you have to choose, you're going forward, you're on the right track or whatever you got planned, whatever you got going on, and be open to receive. Maybe there's something different. Uh, maybe, there's, uh, maybe there's something else. But it says to take precautions in whatever that is. Not sure what it is, but and to protect yourself. Take precautions, and that follows. Take precautions. Protect yourself. As in what? Do what you need to do to protect yourself. I'm getting like this is a financial thing. I don't know. Um, that's what I'm getting. If, and if, if, I guess financially, you protect yourself, um, perhaps legally, whatever the case is. Hmm. Yeah, because I'm getting like shelter. 
uh, like a financial shelter. Okay. Whatever that is, get, get advice. It says to get advice. So I, and I just said, make perhaps something legal. So if there is, get legal advice on what you have to do. If there's something that you are going to deal with today, going forward, maybe for the next couple of days, you're on the right track or whatever you're doing, just take precautions, protect yourself, and get good advice with this. Seek guidance on this. Make plans, I guess, adjust accordingly meaning that if it don't work out or if something changes or uh, uh, be flexible, you know, you have to, again, it says making plans, plan the next phase. Yes make plans and it says planning phase so you have to uh, and look at the big picture that's part of the problem with a lot of times people just they jump in with both feet and they find out what they jumped into is no stability at all you end up falling and you have to plan accordingly especially financially you have to if, if you can't absorb the loss, then damn sure don't jump in because there's, there's a high probability that you could lose. And if you can't absorb it, then why would you do it? Don't. And same goes with relationships. <laughs> For that matter, it goes with a lot of things. But uh, well, this is like talking about, I think, something that is, is in the and it could be something very simple. Very, very simple. You could be dealing with some very minor, what we, we could, I consider some minor financial issues. Let's say it is a, there's a That's, and I'm just going to say, I say there's something to deal with some NSF charges or NF, NSF situations. It's all this is, is just trust yourself and move accordingly, plan accordingly with what you're going to do. Uh, whatever the case is, charge ahead. Afterwards, after you're done with the planning phase, charge ahead. It says to go ahead and move. Yes. Take get the courage necessary to do what you have to do. You're determined anyway, so do it. Because you are divinely guided. You're divinely guided in whatever you're doing. Yes. Trust yourself. You're on the right track. And, uh, you know, it's hard to say what it is because there's so many scenarios with this. I do believe that this is a financial issue, but I don't know what. I, I can't. I'm trying to. I see. Uh, maybe a, a, this, a, something to do with a hmm, maybe. A, a, I don't know, or property. It could be property. But property can include a lot of things. I mean, property can include a vehicle. That's property. Uh, but it says to take precautions and make sure that you're protected in this and seek guidance choose wisely when it when it comes to that seek guidance and uh, make plans because you're divinely guided as you see choose wisely my god i just said that choose wisely yeah. seek counsel what are you what 
you I'm trying to figure out what there's something that is going on that you uh, I can tell you this there's something that's going on that you there's going to be a decision made there's something that you're going to decide I believe that it's a financial decision something to do with finances and I also believe it's something to do with property property can include a lot of things property is anything tangible anything property is could be jewelry it can be anything it can be a vehicle it can be a house it can be land it can be anything that's tangible property but this is something that is substantial it's not a it's not like you're going to Walmart buy cooking utensils. It's toys. This is something that's tangible. It's, it's tangible and it's something that is hmm. But it's something that you're not decided on yet. You haven't made the, the this is not complete because it says you're on the right track, that means that you're, you're going in that direction, but you haven't decided. It says stay open to receive. That means that look at other options, perhaps. Maybe there's other options that you might want to look at and take precautions with that. Hmm. We'll see. That's smoke. Seek clarity. Seek clarity. The Holy Spirit definitely wants you to wants you to look at all of the options available and make sure to get advice on this, not to just jump in without the proper information, the proper knowledge, the pro the, what, what you need to make this decision. Research, whatever it is, if it's an investment. If it's shares, if it's whatever you, if you're moving pentacles from one place to another, make sure that you you know it. Do the research on it. Seek clarity and act with clarity. Wow. Focus and be clear about what you're going to do. It says act with clarity it means to be clear on what you're doing. Answers are going to unfold. Answers are going, whatever questions you have, you're going to get the answers for. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to act with clarity. You're going to, it says to seek clarity. These two cards should be flipped around, but the Holy Spirit didn't give them to me that way, so I didn't. I, but it says, seek clarity, answers are going to unfold, and then you should act with clarity. But I am going to leave them as they fail. But I believe that these cards should have been, these two cards should have been reversed. Seek clarity, answers are going to unfold, and act with clarity. But since they all three together, it's, it's the same. I mean, it doesn't matter how they fail, I can tell you that you should seek clarity and you will receive the answers necessary through research or however getting advice however it's going to play out and there is going to be a breakthrough for you I'm not sure what you got going on soul tribe spiritual warriors what are you about? I wonder if this I mean it's this like we may have to clarify with the with the tarot because I'm interested in what what is what are what you doing. That's what I want to know. What what is what is going on? What are you what are you up to? Breakthrough. What is the breakthrough? 
Revelation. You got to break through in revelation. I mean, it's like, okay, you're teasing me here. What's the deal? It's a gate of opportunity. Break through revelations and a gate of opportunity. And this just fell out the deck. And there's a commitment. Okay, but this don't have to be a relationship commitment. This can be a financial. That's all this is saying is there is a commitment in in something that you're going to decide. That means that uh, once you put your name on the dotted line, you're committed to that. Okay, now not everybody keeps promises, so I understand that. But what it's saying is, is that there's going to be a breakthrough revelation. There's a way, there's an opportunity that's going to present itself, and it's highly likely that you're going to commit to that. Not a relationship. It could be. It could be. If, if that's part of the decision that you're going to make, it could be. But if it's not, then it's something else. But there is going to be a commitment somewhere. There will be a promise that you're going to put your name on. I don't have to put my name on it. If I tell you I promise you to bet your ass, I'll fulfill that part of it. Yes, I, I do not have to put my name on it. If I tell you I promise, that promise is written in the Akashic Book of Records and Captain Reed will keep that promise. I don't give a damn what it costs me, but I'll keep it. Stand strong. It says to stand strong and whatever you promise, stand strong. That means keep it. Keep it. Stand strong. <laughs> Can't make this up. <laughs> Fulfill that promise. I cannot make that. I'm going to tell you something. Now, I don't think this is Soul Tribe and I don't think this is my warriors. But there's some people in life that will, they don't, their word ain't worth that damn. Their word don't mean shit. They will tell you something because it sounds good. And after they get what they want out of whatever situation, they forfeit on the promise. They don't know what a promise is. They don't know what it is to keep their promise. And they've never kept their promise. That's some people that are like that. Uh, it's, it's a sad situation when it comes to that. Fulfill your promise. And things are going to get better for you. It's getting better all the time. Things are going to get better. Okay. And this, this doesn't mean like it's going to get better today. Whatever's going on with this situation is going to get better today. As time progresses, it's going to get better. If if, there's, if it's a relationship issue, it's going to get better. If there's decisions to be made, the Holy Spirit is telling you it's going to get better. That's all it is. Especially if, if you fulfill that promise and you are on your own. Whatever you've done so far, it's it's been on your own. It, you, uh, yes. Whatever you have done, take my bride for instance. My bride does all kinds of creative things like flowers. She does, uh, uh, she loves putting flowers together. I don't even know what the hell the word is for that, but. She loves putting them flowers together. And for, for uh, loved ones that are uh, unalive, like my grandfather, my grand, my grandparents, and uh, my aunt, uh, she does that. Now she started making candles, and she's very, very artistic. She, can, she, she draws really well. She can, she can draw. Very, I'm talking about very, very good at what she does. And she's got no help with that. She's done all of that on her own. She had, didn't go to school for it. It's just something that's in her that she does. It's just something in her that she does. 
and this is a gift like I have a gift for this and there's others that have a gift for this I am not alone there's others that are way better than I am at, at doing this yes and I'm just saying that like her you you've got no help with this you've done all of this on your own that's the gratification that you can say I've done this on my own I didn't get nobody that, that funded my activities or whatever the case is yeah see what's real see what's real and it, it talks about clarity you know when it talks about see what's real it says see clarity and act with clarity see what's real is is and it, it can also be intuition use your intuition to see what's real trust your your gut trust what you what you feel trust what you see and I'm talking about internally because sometimes what you see externally is not what's really happening sometimes what you see internally is really going on because people can fake what they take they can lie to you People can, can lie to you and they can say certain things that is not true. People can act a certain way that is fake. You wear a mask, but their energy don't lie. And that, that's what you feel on the inside is their energy. You feel that, you feel like if, if a, a, a person is not being true to you, or not being true with you, you can feel that. There's subtle changes in that person that they don't know, but you can detect. And it's just, it's something that, and I'm sure you're going to know what I'm talking about. There's such certain things, the way people uh, act, present themselves, it, it's just uh, intuition. That's what it is. Use higher wisdom. And while I go ahead to uh, and a higher wisdom is, is again, explore all other options. Use, use your wisdom, use your, use your discernment. Uh, when things, oh, let me how can I put this? Not everybody can, and not everybody can lean on the cards, and not everybody can lean on the Holy Spirit to help them in making a decision. Let's say, and, and I'm just going to say, let's say it's a financial decision. Yes, let's just say. If I am making a financial decision and if I'm going to move some money around, I'll lean on the cards on what, what I should do and what direction I should go in. I have some yes and no cards. Should I do this? And I ask the Holy Spirit and it gives me an answer to the cause, what I should do, what I shouldn't do. And, and I... I do well. Uh, it's not like, I mean, the Holy Spirit hasn't gotten me wrong yet. I have an investment making 30% right now. So that is a very, I mean, a super good investment. So that that being said, it, and, and, and I have made bad decisions. Likewise, I've made some bad choices. But the choices I made that were bad, I didn't really lean on the Holy Spirit. I, I kind of did it my own self, you know. And I, I pay for it mostly. That being said, scales of balance. Scales of balance is uh, you have to balance your. How can I put that? Uh, hmm. And and it's in investments in relationships is kind of a life. You can invest a, a lot in a person and get nothing in return and the balance is off. You shouldn't have invested as you did. Your investment was based on how you feel, thinking that's how they would feel. If, if they would uh, reciprocate with you, your feelings and it didn't happen. So the same applies to a financial investment. You Sometimes you put way too much into it and uh, 
the balance is not there. Like they say, you know, you got to spread your eggs out, put your eggs in, in, don't put them all in the same basket because once they start getting broke, you end up losing the whole basket. Uh, yeah. Anyway, let's see what else we have. Take great care. And take great care is like prioritize. You're gonna have to know what's what's important to you and whatever decision you're going to make. And if it's important, then of course you're going to do it. And if it's not important, set it to the side. Don't, don't, uh, mm -mm. be careful with taking a chance. That's all part of balance too. And it says you're almost there. Yeah, it is. I'm, I'm going to go with I will pull some tarot. I'm interested in finding out what this is about. What I want to know. Happiness is simple. Happiness is simple. Had a had a discussion about that with someone about emerging. Resurrection. Saving grace is good. This is like healing. And if this is a financial situation, it can, or whatever the case is, because you, you can be wounded financially sometimes people wound you financially because you put yourself in a situation to help people that they wouldn't give you a slice of bread. In fact, they never did give you a slice of bread. Resurrection. I'm not saying that you shouldn't help. You should. Because what you give, you get. Uh, I mean, when it comes to karma, that's, that is, you know, the law that you get what you give. So you should, regardless of that. Because it resonates. Shake off the past and rise again. Yeah, you you go you you it appears that you are like Seven. There's two sevens right here, back to back. A seven is completion. There's something. It's going. You're going to decide something. You're going to. But this is like words, 
and passion as something that you and ooh, something over oh, something just fell out of my deck. I gotta see what this is. Be careful with this because this fell out in the reverse. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. The King of Swords is a masculine energy. Of course, we all know that it's a masculine energy. And it, it what it's telling me is that you're going to think logically. Use your discernment as we said this before. And... Uh, and if you don't, the seven of, of swords is right next to it. If you don't, if you do not choose wisely, protect yourself, whatever the case is, you're going to have some regrets. That's, that's a fact. That's what it says. That's what I'm reading here. The seven of wands in reverse. Seven of wands is saying that... Uh, This could be, and it lands next to the Ace of Pentacles. It could be that your previous, what you previously thought, is not true. Whatever this is about, if it's if it's a relationship, whatever you thought is not true. It could be something else. There's something else that you, obviously you didn't see. And because you didn't see it, the Ace of Pentacles, there's an opportunity that was lost within this that you didn't see. So you lost that opportunity. If, if this is financial, what you thought is not the case. And you, you could lose, if you don't make the right decision, you could lose that opportunity. Because you remember it says down here, that answers are gonna unfold. So obviously there's something that you don't know or there's something that you question. Let's show this. It's still not telling me how I'd like to know. I mean, I, I know that whatever it is, is, is you're very passionate about it and uh, there's it could be pentacles because as an ace of pentacles, it could be something to do with property. Yes, the Ten of Swords in reverse. Yes. This could be about a relationship. It, 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 it mean, but it's the same. It could be other something else also because it's... Uh, You. The Ten of Swords in reverse is you. You're coming out of a bad, this could be very well financial, you're coming out of a bad financial situation. You're just coming out of it. And uh, perhaps I think it may be a, a decision that is going to, to help yourself in this situation. If you're learning from past difficulties if that makes sense. I mean, it has to make sense because people, that's how you learn financially is because of mistakes that you made previously so you don't make them again. Yes, this is, this is I think this is a, a financial situation. Yes, it's a, a yeah, things, things are paying off that you have learned and it is finally paying off. Things are Maybe an investment is growing. Maybe some inheritance that possibly could be what this is. Possibly an inheritance or a settlement that is you're going to decide if you're going to accept it or not today or within the next couple of days. This don't have to be like today, but and again, balance the temperance card. Again, balance in whatever you decide. Use your yes. Take your time. Have, be patient with this. Be patient. Mm. 
is this a like a relationship type situation, Holy Spirit? See that word? I just asked the Holy Spirit. Is this a relationship type of si no. <laughs> 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 no. Okay. Yeah. He sounds like a little irritated there. No. Change. There's something else. Yeah, I believe that I was right from the start when I said it's a financial situation. This is something to do with finances. This is something to do that is in that in that pinnacle property. I I, I see oh yeah. It's something to do with that. But there's some kind of change that's going to take place. Don't know what it is. It, it, it could be a change of work. That too. It could be a decision with uh, employment. That could be what this is all about because it says to explore all your options. Yeah, I mean, Captain Reed was offered a job just recently. Um, yeah. Of course, I'm not interested, but you know, they, they have, wasn't even interested in finding out how much the pay was. I really, I didn't care. I'm, I'm happy where I'm at. So, I, I'm not gonna leave a place that I'm happy to go to into an unknown situation, and I don't even know. No, hell no. That's a hard no. <laughs> That's hard. Yes. Oh Lord. Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune, it could be good fortune. Mm -hmm. There is a change because you got the death card that came out in the upright. There is a change taking place. Something is changing. I don't know, not sure. But there's something that is changing. And it's something to do with in the financial aspect, it's a financial situation, meaning it is property, it is something that is affected by finances. And ask the Holy Spirit, is, is it towards a relationship? No. No. Right? And it's capitalized. It's in all caps. He said, that's a hard no. It's like, okay, everybody calm down. Oof, the Lord have Verses like must have woke up cracking this morning. The lovers in reverse. The lovers in reverse does not mean this is a fine a, a, a relationship situation. Uh, this is a uh, this is a warning. This is a warning for you. Be careful who you trust. That's what this is. This is be careful who you trust. They, they, huh, they got snakes in the grass. Your friends is not always your friends. I'm going to tell you that right now. So just be careful who you trust. And, uh, yes, four of cups. Four of Cups follows the lovers in reverse, which is an indication to me that uh, Wheel of Fortune is, there's an opportunity that's going to present itself. Don't know it. And to, I ask for today, what's going on today? Talk to me about today, okay? It says, well, Possibly today, there's an opportunity that's going to pr present itself, in, and it could be the next couple of days. And it's followed by the the lovers in reverse, and I'm telling you that there is somebody within your. I hate that. I really don't like to say that, but there's somebody that's close to you. Be careful with them. Be careful.
there's a rejection right here. It's like an offer that's going to be rejected. An offer that's going to be rejected. The hermit in reverse. You're not going to jump into this like with both feet. Whatever this is that you're going to be deciding, if it's financial, you're going to go, you're going to go into this with caution. There, in fact, you're going to test the waters. You're going to test the waters to make sure that, yes, the Ace of Cups in the upright. follows the hermit and of course there's a rejection right here with the four of cups the, what this is saying right here is the ace of cups is uh, and with the hermit in reverse is you're not going to approach this I don't believe that you're going to approach this meaning that how can I say that it's not going to be an emotional decision for you. This is going to be a logical decision. You're going to make it with head over heart. It's not going to be an emotional decision. Mm -hmm. Yes, like I, I bought some property and I shouldn't have mistake I made but I bought some property with the intent on, on buying a home that was on the property and it was a heart overhead decision I did it because it was close to my family my relatives and uh, ended up being a, a big a huge mistake for me huge mistake uh, I, I took a, a huge loss Emotionally too, not just financially, big time emotionally, I took a loss on that. And with this situation, which I shouldn't have, okay, had I made a, a head over heart to say I would have never bought the shit and I'd have just moved on with my life and uh, been totally happy. With this situation, same thing. You're not going to go into this emotionally. It's like it's going to be total, totally head over heart if, it's, if you deem a little bit just a little bit where it's not beneficial you're gonna you're going to back out of it right here it, it just you're going to pull away from the whatever you do you're doing and which is fine because that's what it says you should be see clarity you should do it with the, the and answers are going to unfold and remember that you're going to be divinely guided with this yes and you are the emperor. That's something you need to remember too. You are the emperor. You are pentacled up if you are. And being pentacled up is is uh, subjective to the person. Meaning, if I got a little extra in the bank, I'm pentacled up. <laughs> Some people are never never pentacled up they just never have enough some people and I've, I've dealt with those type of people before too you just uh, some people are, are happy with very little others are not happy at all on the bottom of the deck Lord have mercy six of pentacles six of pentacles This is a clarification. I guarantee you, this has got something to do with pentacles. This has got something to do with an investment or property or something of that nature that you're going to decide. It, uh, it's something to do with money. Money affects everything, obviously. But there's something that you 
are going to decide. Well, and then on top of that, there's the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups can be a lot of things. It, it, it's uh, uh, self-analysis. It can be uh, limits, self-limits. With this, you know, it's like, you know, you have to know your own limitations when it comes to whatever you're into. So, and then we have the uh, Four of Swords. The Four of Swords is you're looking for spiritual strength. You know, you're, you're seeking knowledge from a spiritual source, which is excellent. That's what you should do. You should pray and meditate ask for spiritual guidance in, in every situation you should do that not just in that in every situation so that concludes our I have to end I had a phone call I have to call one of my partners one of my my buds on, on another boat was calling me Probably wants to know what it's like over here in Lake Ferguson and Greenfield because of the shallow water. But anyway, uh, I'll, I'll give him a holler. And uh, I enjoyed my visit with y'all this morning. Drank our coffee together. Do a little reading. A little visit. And um, at least we know that it's not, it's not a relationship issue. It's a decision that's going, it's something else. If it's, if you, I'm sure that you're going to know what it is. Put it in the comments. Tell me what, what, what we're talking about because I'm very interested in knowing what is going on. What, I do know it's not a relationship. It's not that. So, that being said, y'all stay close to God. I love y'all. Uh, and uh, this is going to be one of my shorter videos, I can tell you that. <laughs> Which is not bad. Keep your attention for a little while. You don't want to make it last too long. You start losing people. They start, they start wandering off. So, stay close to God. Talk to Him. He wants to hear from you. I do too. Talk to me in the comments. Tell me what, what, what's going on with this. Uh, I love y'all big, big. Peace out.